Okay, this is a taping technique for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. Um, you'll know you have this, you have pain in the outside of the elbow. Uh, it can be confused with pain coming from the neck, so a test to see if it is really tennis elbow is with a straight arm, bend your fingers and then push your middle finger against resistance. If this recreates the pain into the outside of the elbow, then you know that it is tennis elbow that you've got and not the bird pain from something else. So the muscle we're going to try and tape to alleviate this is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. So this muscle runs um, from the common extensor tendon along the hairy side of the arm up to the last metacarpal, the middle metacarpal up into the hand. Okay, so this is the region we want to be taping. I've taken two strips of tape. My first strip, how I've measured this, is I've pinched it, thumb against index finger, and then I've flexed my wrist and I've run the tape up to the end of my forearm like that. Okay. Once I've measured it, I've rounded off the ends, and then you can see on the end here, I've cut two finger holes. My second strip, I measured this on half my forearm. Okay, so I've just measured just over half, and then I've cut it into a wide split, again rounding the ends. So what we're gonna do first is where the finger holes are, break the tape, okay, and then feed your fingers into the holes. Okay, so the fingers are sat like that. Then, remove the backing of the tape and stick it down just below your fingers, okay? From here, the position we want to put the arm is we want to flex the wrist, okay, and then take the tape and we're going to give it a little tug and that breaks the backing. We can move the backing all the way up so we've got about an inch left and then we're going to apply the tape to the over the wrist, up the forearm, heading towards the lateral epicondyle, applying little to no stretch as we go. So we end up like this. Then we can take a bit of tape and activate the glue. Should have mentioned this at the start but to get where we want to finish if you're unsure of where you're going feel into your elbow and you'll feel the bony prominence on the outside of your elbow if you then come up and you'll feel this fleshy part this is the common extensor tendon so this is what we're heading towards to get onto that fleshy bit just above the elbow just get how many creases you get Okay, and then keeping the wrist flexed, we're gonna take our second piece of tape and we're gonna rip an inch off the end and then we're gonna try and come on behind, behind the end of the tape there. So we've got two strips here, flex the elbow slightly, so flex at the elbow, flex at the wrist and we're gonna take our strips, give them a tug to break them and we're going to apply these ones with 70 to 100% stretch. So we're going to pull up and then wrap down onto the inside of the forearm, applying with no stretch at the end. So if you watch this one, I'll peel the taping back. I'll keep a, keep a small amount at the end. So then when I pull, I'm applying with stretch. But then when I finish, that end tab there goes on with no stretch at all. Take a bit of tape, activate the glue, and this is the effect we want to achieve because what we're doing is we're lifting that tendon and stopping the friction against the bony prominence, the lateral, lateral epicondyle in there. And that's it, that's your taping for um, tennis elbow.